and welcome one more case in linear programming graphical method of solution and the problem is maximize z equals to minus x1 plus 2x2 subject to x1 minus x2 less than or equal to minus 1 minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 2 and x1 and x2 both are non-negative yes both the constraints are having negative sign in them just be alert okay as usual as i had explained in the previous case we are going to segregate all the constraints into two part equality to draw the straight line and inequality to get the feasible region okay x1 minus x2 equals to minus 1 now we can have the two points to draw the straight line of this equation if x1 takes value 0 then it will be minus x2 equals to minus 1 so x2 equals to 1 if x2 takes value 0 then it will be x1 equals to minus 1 now it is turn off inequality part of the same constraint x1 minus x2 less than minus 1 if x1 takes value 0 then it will be minus x2 less than minus 1 be alert whenever there is negative sign in any of the steps in the previous lecture i had discussed a very weird or strange method of treatment of this kind of situation particularly considering the weak students in my terminology the last benches or those who have started to study mathematics after two three or more years but now everything should be in order yes what should we do here just change all the signs minus x2 will be now x2 less than will be greater than and minus 1 will be 1 now what if x2 takes value 0 then it will be x1 less than minus 1 ok next number 2 and it is term of equality 0.5 x1 plus x2 equals to 2 will be the equation and now we can have the two points to get the straight line of this equation yes if x1 takes value 0 then it will be x2 equals to 2 if x2 takes value 0 then it will be minus 0.5 x1 equals to 2 that means x1 will be 2 divided by minus 0.5 that is minus 4 inequality will be minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than 2 if x1 takes value 0 it will be x2 less than 2 ok if x2 takes value 0 then it will be minus 0.5 x1 less than 2 I mean we are going to change the sign simultaneously of all the things minus 0.5 x1 will be 0.5 x1 less than will be greater than 2 will be minus 2 so it will be x1 greater than minus 4 because minus 2 divided by 0.5 will be minus 4 x1 greater than minus 4 now we can draw the graph of this problem on x axis we have to go up to minus 4 and on x2 axis we have to go up to 2 so the left hand side will be larger in this particular case this is x1 this is x1 dash negative side this is x2 and this is x2 dash ok 0 1 2 3 just like token 1 2 3 4 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 yes ok just to show if you don't show this part then there is no problem you can drop to this only because in this case we have no negative value on x2 axis yes on x2 axis it is 1 2 positive ok first there is minus 1 on x1 and 1 on x2 1 and sorry minus 1 and 1 just sorry uh, we need to draw a straight line passing through both of these points yes as I had said earlier, I can draw a sketch, only a sketch of the graph 
on this kind of board it is not possible for me to draw the exact graph because it is very hard to draw a straight line on this kind of board yes okay now what is the equation x1 minus x2 x1 minus x2 equals to minus 1 okay what about inequality x2 is greater than 1 x2 greater than 1 upper side and x1 less than minus 1 less than minus 1 that is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so again upper side of the line now second constraint minus 4 on x1 and 2 on x2 let's draw a line passing through both of these points some kind of uh, so, sorry something like this uh, minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 equals to 2 yes to be very frank to draw the graph these kind of boards are useless yes okay but the biggest gain of using this kind of board is to save ourselves from the dust of chalk x2 less than 2 x2 less than 2 so it will be below the line and x1 greater than minus 4 greater than minus 4 means minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and so on so towards 0 okay now there is no other constraint for which we can draw a separate line we are not going to shed here because we are going to show the feasible region only this line has inequality part above it this line has inequality part below it and this has on the right hand side so we can say that this is the feasible region a very small part of the graph is feasible region please take utmost care while you are dealing with this kind of graph okay only three corner points are there only three corner points this is a say because o is not there zero zero is not there a a is zero and one b b is zero uh, yeah zero and two and this is c on your graph paper it should show two on x one axis and three on x two axis two three okay now let's check what happens with the objective function only three corner points it will be quite easier yeah yes i prefer to use the easiest possible terminology every time so I use normal terms like corner point coordinates etc instead of using the jargon vertex or vertices and so on you can use if your teachers like that like that corner point coordinates coordinate means values of x and y or x1 and x2 on the particular corner point and value of objective function that is z equals to minus x1 plus 2x2 ok corner point a has 0 and 1 coordinate minus into 0 plus 2 into 1 something like this 0 plus 2 equals to 2 corner point b has 0 and 2 minus into 0 plus 2 into 2 that will be 0 plus 4 equals to 4 and c 2 and 3 minus into 2 plus 2 into 3 so it is minus 2 plus 6 that is also 4 okay objective is maximized so we should select the maximum rather the corner point with the maximum value of the objective function the maximum value is 4 and 2 corner points are giving maximum value 4 of the objective function that means there are 2 possible optimal solutions of 
this problem. So we can say that this is a problem having multiple optimal solutions. Yes, multiple optimal solutions. The first solution is x1 equals to 0, x2 equals to 2 and maximum value of objective function z is 4. Another possible solution is x1 equals to 2, x2 equals to 3 and maximum possible value of z equals to 4. Yes. We are fortunate enough to have <coughs> multiple optimal solutions to the linear programming problem with us because every time it is not possible to have this kind of problems. That's it. Thank you very much.